For, we'll start with the first round, right away. Scorers ready? Yes. So yes. All of you pay attention. How many of you know what pounds is? There are three teams who know it, four teams who know it. Now listen to me. A pen. Volunteers, provide a pen. Monish, a pen there. An extra pen. Get one fast. Team one, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. So know your positions now. Pounds works like this. To make a quiz extremely fair, every question can be attempted by all the teams. So if it is team one's question, even you guys can answer it. How can I do it? Raise your hand, say pounds, call my attention, write the answer down. It's their question. They get to answer orally, but you can write down the answer and show it to me. The only caveat is when you pounce, you're doing it out of turn. So minus five on a wrong answer. Right. So essentially every question can be answered by every team. So the winner is the one who knows it all. Is pounce clear? And then let me explain bounce. Now question one goes to team one and say team four answers it. Next question goes to team five. So it's entirely random, infinite pouncing. So I don't know who gets which question. It's very, very fair. I don't know Osmanic teams get what? Gandhi teams get what? So no rigging whatsoever at all. So mm. and we have mixed teams as well. So yeah, uh, with that clear, we'll go to the first question of the quiz. For team one, open on the pounds for all the teams. Right? Any questions? No, of course, you pounce before they answer. And I close the pounce. After that, no more pounces. Then I go to them. Clear all of you? Yes. So, first question of the finals of Osmecon, Med Quiz 2014. Team 1, you're direct. Open the pounds for all the teams. Yes. So, all of us see drugs regularly. Almost all drugs that you see have this IP written. Very don't answer on the pounds. On the pounds, write the answer down. So yes, teams pouncing on all drugs. Raise your hand, write the answer down. What is IP that you see on almost all drugs? So teams pouncing are teams 2, 4, 6 and 8. That's it, I close the pounds. I have checked all the pounces. Team 1, pass the mic and speak into the mic. You are direct. Come on, quick, go ahead. So what is IP on all tablets, on all drugs that you see? Injection or infusion prohibited. I like your guess. Passing to team 3, quick, pass the mic. Speak into the mic. Internal preparation. Internal preparation. The uh, team, uh, wait, you answered, so it passes you. Yes, you guys, take the mic. No, not, not your turn, their turn. You pounced, that's done. Uh, Indian pharmaceuticals. Indian pharmaceuticals. Indian. I pass you. Uh, you answered on the pounds. You answered, don't answer now. You have answered on the pounds, right? So you're done. Yeah, your turn. Indian pharmacopine. That gets 10 points. That's the perfect answer I was looking for. This is Indian pharmacopoeia. Answer slide. So it is a compilation of standards in India. All drugs follow these standards. You can have, you see this on all drugs. Indian pharmacopoeia. Good answer. The points, teams 2, 4, 6 and 7 and 8. Get 10 points each. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. You answered this question. Now it's your direct. All others open on pounds. Write the answer down. Next question. So yes, this is a man called James Harrison who is called the man with the golden arm. Now he made over 1000 blood donations in his lifetime. After his blood was found to have a particular antibody that was used to make the prophylactic medicine. This has helped millions of mothers all through the world. Which condition is this? that has drastically been reduced following this preventive option. Open on the pounds, write the answer down for pouncing. Teams 1, 4 and 5. I close the pounds in 3, 2 
and one. Pounce is closed. Three teams have pounced. It's your direct. So be ready. Mike, pass. Be ready. Teams one had pounced. Four had pounced. Okay. Which condition is this? So. And you, you guys didn't pounce, right? So yes, I've seen your pounces. You're direct. Is it the hemolytic disease of the newborn and the anti RH? And That's the perfect answer. So, this is the guy from, uh, whose blood actually led to the development of the RH, anti RH antibody. So, yes, 10 points to team 8 on the direct. On the pounds, uh, teams 1 get 10 points. Team 4 gets a minus 5. Team 5 gets plus 10. We close the question. Next question, you answer direct to team 1. Simple question. What is the glymphatic system? Open on the bounce. Team 6 is bouncing. And team 3. I close the bounce in 3, 2, and 1. You're direct. Mike, ready to So yes, pounds is closed, team 1. Uh, they are saying malt, oh, that's not right, passing you, team 2. Speak into the mic, check the mic. The cerebrospinal fluid system. Hmm. CSF system, that's your answer, I pass you on that, team 4. What's your guess? Subcutaneous lymphatics. Okay, team five. five, five, five. Uh, genital lymphatic system. Genital lymphatic system. Fine, that's a good guess. You you had pounced. So team seven. Quick, quick. Wahid, you have to be quick. Team seven. Gastrointestinal lymphatics. Right. Passing you. Oh, uh, they're not guessing. So we'll go to the audience now. Yes. 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 That's a brilliant answer. Give, give him a prize for that. Let's look at the answer. Well, the brain and the spinal cord do not have lymphatics at all. So this system, called the glymphatic system, functions as the metabolic waste remover. It comes from glial plus lymphatic, which one team got it right. Team 6 get plus 10. And team 3 get a minus 5. So this is a new system you need to learn. Glial plus lymphatic in the CNS. That works as the equivalent of the lymphatic system. Question back to team 1. It was your direct. Com comes back to you again. Next question. So these critical ingredients of the human body are named for where they were discovered from. Pancreas, bird poop, cells, thymus gland. Give me the collective name or identify all four. Team 3 has pounced. Any more pounces? I close the pounce. Yes. Pounces checked. Team 1. Other teams be ready with your guesses. Do not pass. Take a guess. All these questions are crackable. The answers are very familiar to all of you. Yes, team one. Your turn. I'll have to pass you. Yeah. Close. Close. Go ahead. Pancreas is all flesh. So what's your answer? You're giving clues to others. I want the answer. Collective name. I am passing you, team 2. Quick, on a pass, not much time will be given. Uh, team 4, Shadan Medical College. Uh, team 5, 6, 
Take a guess, teams. Six. Yes, team six. Pan pancreas, pancreatic fluid. Okay. Uh, team seven. Uh, one team called it now a light, a late light bulb. Pass. Uh, team eight. Come on. I don't like passes. Score the goal, come on. Yeah, teammate, it's on, it's on a pass. I'll pass you audience. Yes? Uh, lymphocytes is not right. So let's have this team which missed. Yeah. Amino acids, thymine and uh, cytosine and all those. Essential amino acids. <laughs> Nitrogen basis is the answer. Pancreas. Gland adenine, adenose gland. Bird poop is called guano, guanine. Cyto from cell, cytosin, thymus, thymine. So team three get a brilliant plus ten on this. Question back to team one again. So these are pictures from Russia. What is being done here? Team three has pounced. Open on the pounce. Teams two, three, five. Write down. And eight. These two pictures, what is being done? You're bouncing? Uh, two, three, five, six, seven is bouncing? Seven and eight. I close the pounce. Quick. Okay. Yeah. You didn't pounce. You bounce now? Okay. Okay. Yes. So we have a lot of similar answers on the pounds. Quite interesting. Uh, team one, you're direct. Vitamin D deficiency the therapy, UV rays. So why? Rickets, treatment of rickets. Why Russia? I give you 10 points for that. Brilliant answer. So up north, we have continuous winter and no summer. The kids have a deficiency of vitamin D. So there, artificially, we give UV rays and uh, increase the synthesis of vitamin D. So, very good answer by team 1. Team 1 gets plus 10. Team 2 get minus 5. Team 3 get plus 10. Team 5 minus 5. Team 6 minus 5. 7 minus 5. 8 minus 5. And what was the common answer? Phototherapy for jaundice. Good thoughts, but the question was different. Uh, next question to team 2. You are direct. So, we will see a video. Uh, play the video. It's a movie trailer. Yes, yes, this movie was called The Boy in the Plastic Bubble, which made this disease famous. This was the very first disease to be treated with gene therapy in 1990. So, which disease is this? Open on the pounds. Teams 1, 3, uh, 4, 5, and 6. I close the pounds. Uh, it was your direct. It was team two's direct, yeah. Team two. Uh. Down syndrome. Passing you. Uh, team three, four, five, six pounds. Team seven. Chat syndrome. Cry do chat syndrome. Uh, team eight. Uh, skids disease. Yes. 
kids disease which is uh then immunodeficiency uh and sc stands for not quite clear see we are combined immunity brilliant answer you get a full 10 points for that so this is cv combined immunodeficiency well answered team 8 10 on a direct team 1 3 4 5 and 6 all get plus 10 next question to team 1 a bone marrow transplant is a procedure to replace a damaged or destroyed bone marrow with healthy cells in patients with leukemia non hodgkin lymphoma and so on so what they do is they take a large biopsy needle insert inject into the bone and harvest the cells the cells from the bone marrow how are these delivered to the recipients please talk softly so they take a large thick biopsy needle insert into the bone take the bone marrow from the donor how do they give this to the recipient open on the pounds any team is pouncing teams 8 and i close the pounds one team is pounced you are direct yes team 1 intravenously and that is right it's given intravenously so the stem cells migrate to the bone and that's how the condition is treated one in eight get plus 10 good answer team one last question of this round there to team two an interesting simple question so all of us lose water from the body daily this table shows you the distribution of water loss from the body the top two of these after urine are called insensible water loss so what two components are a part of insensible water loss i want both the answers on a pounds not one part on a pounds both parts on the pounds team four pounces i close the pounds you pouncing both parts i close the pounds and it was direct, direct team two So wait. Okay. And you pounced. You pounced. Okay. Team two, you're direct. One is through tears and one more through lungs. Okay, passing you. Interesting guesses. Tears and lungs is what they say. Lungs. One is breath. There is a lot of water vapor. I don't think people cry that much every day. So. Uh, you shed. Uh, you shed your skin cells. No, so maybe that. So skin cells that have water are shed. Fine. Uh, passing you, team five. One is through the nose, respiratory tract. By yes. Breathing. and uh, there is tears tears okay same answer team 6 team 5 6 quick respiratory loss yeah uh, secretions loss of secre loss of secretions in the body okay general secretions fine uh, breath and saliva good guess saliva we take back it's not lost really team 8 uh, one is through breath yeah. and the other is through skin other than sweat as in it uh, uh what just vaporizes other than sweating you get 10 points for that 5 points to team 2 for saying lungs first 10 points to team 8 for the full answer on the pounds team 4 get minus 5 and team 1 get plus 10 we we end this round so yes you lose water from your skin through evaporation and from your respiratory tract through your breath and yes we'll have the scores now and yes uh, next slide 